podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Official Miss Jamaica? Official Miss Jamaica. That's who you are? Yes, I'm That's who you be? She ain't playing no games with you today. Man, man. I'm cool well, with it, though. I love it. Huh? What, huh? What'd you say? None. <laughs> not, oh, not Medea. <laughs> that ain't what you said. I did. Okay. Check it, man. Hey, man, we got a guy here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. This guy frequents the show. He, he be come on uh, to pop it every time he want to. You know, this guy right here is uh, uh, actually become a friend of the, of the show, man. And I've always respected him. And every time he called me, uh, I pick up the phone or if he, if I, or vice versa, man. So, I mean, a good dude for me, man, that's been... Man, he got this free Yayo shirt on the day, though, man. Check yeah, it, man. That boy Supreme, Bob Supreme's in the building. What's happening? What's happening? Man, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm man. actually great. Didn't you have a birthday here recently, man? Yeah, man. Oh, hell no. You know, you know what? You won. Some dudes didn't make yeah. it to be your age, bro. Yeah. They want to know my age, too. Oh, nobody know it. Yeah, they be trying to, they, they be saying all kinds. Hey, thank you, man, so much, man, just for always uh, showing us support and love, man. Uh, sure. We come in this game, man. I mean, you, ha you, you, you brought different people around. You brought OG Percy here the first time, man. Uh, you came when uh, Melvin Farmer was in, brought OG Percy the second time, man. Yeah. So, man, thank you for all hooking us up and linking us with, with that guy, for sure. Sure. Um, uh, it's just a... Shout a, out OG Percy. You yeah, it's a litany of things that uh, that you, you've you done. When I first met you, you took us over there and uh, we watched the uh, premiere the second day after I met you. I yeah. came over there and next day and watch the uh what was that the documentary the murder worth documentary murder worth documentary and so shout out real tune tv real tune man that nigga going real hard i've been loving what he been doing here lately as far as the way that the uh the, he been going back to i don't know if he was doing that before because i really don't know him but yeah. the interviews and the way that he doing them uh the way that he traveling he, mm -hmm. he looking more and more like he getting more aggressive yeah anytime sure. you see somebody getting aggressive like that that means that they putting that work in. Yeah. So I, I, kudos, man. We talked on the phone once here lately since he's been on his run. Yeah. And uh, I love what he's doing for sure. real. No cap. That's what's happening. Uh, so what about um, uh, what about just the go go the free yayo shirt? Because at one point it seemed like oh, you yeah. guys wasn't even talking. It seemed like you 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 pretty much had. It stopped. always seemed like some. It might not. It might not be. Were you, you guys me? talking? I mean, we always talk. Okay. Through the through the through the through the Lord and the spirits. Okay. Okay. I see you where you're going me? with it. Yeah. You're a little bit more deeper than I am. I mean, through the spirits and the Lord and the, that's I, what I, I, I might not be as deep as you. <laughs> I'm trying to get there though. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying you guys had times where y'all did stop just For talking sure. on yeah. a daily like y'all when y'all first yeah. started. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you told me that story about how you guys went down to Atlanta or they came down to Atlanta. I think they came down, didn't it? Uh, when I like when I first met him, yeah, yeah, he came to the A. Yeah, yeah, that was mm -hmm. hard, and yeah. and and that was when he, before he even met a soldier boy, or any of them folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. This before all of the all of the big stuff anybody saw. Um, we did all that together. You know wow. Yeah. Hood fame was the was a a pillar in in Texas for about two years for sure. Yeah. Did you? Um, you know, a lot of people in the Dallas area say you messed that deal up when it came down to QC that you made a wrong decision by by not linking with them when y'all had that opportunity. Um, just give me a reason why you decided not to go that way with him. All right, so this true story. Um, first off, the, um, Coach K and P, you know, we look up to those guys, you know, sent out QC. Um, the money they offered was like, you no, know, we had that in our pocket at the time, and I didn't know what I know now, but I knew that Yayo was was something special. And then I, I was remember vividly looking at Coach K, talk to me, but he's looking at Yayo, and I saw how he was looking at him. And I knew what I thought about Yayo, you know what I'm saying? And I knew what Yayo thought about himself, but to see Coach K looking at him the way he was looking, I was like, you know, and we, we never even told him no. It was just like, because we still was cool with those guys. But when we left QC, like I said this before, man, we went to um, Warner Brothers, uh, the guy who signed um, Pimp C and E-40 and uh, Britney Spears and Jason Derulo, one of Yayo, went to 300. That's who signed, uh, you know, Megan Thee Stallion over there now. You know, everybody was at 300. Uh, Atlantic called, the guy who signed Young Boy and Kevin Gates and Young Thug, uh, 
Then he went to Soldier Boy house. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all of this stuff happened um, after Q. We went to the QC deal. So it wasn't about messing nothing up. It's about we knew that what Yayo was and what we had going on as a whole was 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 I don't want to say bigger, but it was more important for us to to go on a path of our own because we was trying to beat them. You feel me? That's hard. Um, <clears throat> So, okay, you get you get down and uh, you guys decide not to go with him. But I see Yayo a little later on and, and the internet and the way he was being portrayed to me, it seems as if he had almost turned up when he met Soldier Boy to a where he was almost defending him and going in on yeah, different situations. That, that's his partner. Yeah, so he basically started uh, really aligning with Soldier Boy. What, when did you, did you see them when they met each other? Yeah, man, look, so... And everything I'm saying is a fact. You feel me? When Coach K and Soldier Boy started following Yayo, I had the phone in my hand, like, and then like I, I think I called him. We might have been winning each other with one of them, but I say, look at this. So when Soldier Boy started DMing, like Yayo DM'd him first, like, hey, what's up with it? And then Soldier Boy, when he responded like that, that's when we knew that he had been watching. Cause before we talked to him, he had through the blonde in his hair. Mm. True story. And and then he started DMing, and they was cool and. Shit, yeah, yo went out there like it wasn't nothing. Like I, like I didn't go with him. I sent, I sent one of my partners out there to go with him or whatever. Um, um, and yeah, that's what happened. Wow, that's crazy. They ended up on TMZ. You know what I'm saying? What uh, happened? Man, it was. I don't know who Soulja Boy had at his crib or whatever, but they ended up on TMZ. You know, the yeah, yo had the, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, the prop guns or whatever, and you know, and that's how ultimately Soulja Boy. They revoked his probation because of that. You dig what I'm saying? Wow. And uh, that situation kind of like, I'm not going to say the labels like went away, but they kind of backed off a little bit. But yeah, yo still was was big, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that was a real uh, defining uh, period for Soldier Boy as well. He has phases. Soldier Boy has phases when he came in the game. Uh, he was definitely one of the first internet, you know, sensations. Yeah, sure. And and when he came in the game, it was like uh, he just... He, he he brought a whole new element to the game. And, and I think a lot of times people didn't really know how to perceive him. And they pretty much didn't uh, early on give him his uh, props. And then later on kind of try to make him out of a joke when he really yeah. was a serious business dude from what I could see. A lot of those people, a lot of the rappers, he uh, got a lot of their stuff from Soulja Boy. Yeah. I ain't going to tell you that. Yeah. But yeah, I see that. That's facts. Yeah, you can tell just, I mean, when he talked about Drake on... Uh, on on Breakfast Club, yeah. when he make it seem funny, but at, when you really listen to him, uh, he really be be popping it like this. Is why this happened? That, and it yeah. be some realism to it. So watch this, Soldier Boy. He he's he knows what's going on in America when it comes to the new stuff, the music. So for him to recognize what was going on in Fort Worth, um, tells you what's going on in Fort Worth. You dig what I'm saying? But he was watching Dallas. I was talking to Lil Will the other day when he was on here, and he always was watching down south sure. in these areas. So he mm -hmm. even did, tapped into them when him, Lil Spain and them was uh, dealing with that My Dougie song. Mm -hmm. So this ain't nothing new. He was already seeing that this area was really popping. Yeah. Uh, and I think that he stayed focused on it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and and you guys, you know, of course, you know, hijacking you guys wasn't that hard. You know, you take y'all stuff and take it everywhere else, you know, and teach me how to <laughs> dug in. It turns in, everybody love me, you know, yeah. and then, you know, the in the red stripe that, you know, all the, the blonde hair look, all that, you know, nigga, just take your style, yeah. you know? <laughs> so then when, when they... You know, when they take it from us and then people take it from them, it just spread all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. it's good, people going to want to be like it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it ain't good, then you ain't got nothing. Then ain't nobody going to follow that that trend. You know, a lot of times, you know, nigga, I'm podcasting over here, nigga. It seemed like, you know, certain things change with around my you, element. I ain't, this, is this the only podcast in Dallas? I don't know no other podcasts is out here. That's now that I think about it, that, shout out super tight, uh, my boy that's Bobo. My boy, yeah, he just coming in. That's forward. my boy. Uh, you know what I'm but I don't know no other podcasts. They do a lot of interviews out here. Yeah, you know what? That is the truth. I never seen yeah. it that way. Now nobody kicking it like this. What would you call real life? Real life is a. Um, they do interviews. Yeah, it's not a podcast. So what's the difference between interviews and podcasts? All right, so check it. So. The whole setup in here is is real player. You feel me? It's real. Um, if you want to say podcasty, like yeah, uh, real life. You know they do different 
they do they interview style is different from the norm because they kind of a little bit away from it. They got the cool lights in the back. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying. And you got other guys that just might sit right in front of you. But these mics, the different mics, how I sound right now, I don't get to do that nowhere else. Wow, and I I didn't think about that in that aspect because probably because we never shout out to real life, but we never really go. We don't. We just mind our business, bro. When I first started this, man, it was just me just saying I wanted to do something to miss the COVID that basically would uh, make our stores stay relevant during a time when people wasn't going out. You had a great idea, my so brother. So that, that was the reason, and thanks, but that, that was the reason for putting this in here. Because yeah. we've been here for, like I, said, I always say, now 16 years. Ain't nobody got no, uh, let me see, one, two, three. It's four yeah. cameras on me, man, right we got, now. We got a couple me? that we ain't even got on the set that I can pull out. Yeah, it's got, so we got think, three mics in here. Yeah, four. And we, oh yeah, and Damn. we sound clear. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nobody doing that. I nah, ain't seen nobody. And, and, but we do it because you guys deserve it. You guys have done something, man, in these areas with the way that you guys have drove just game, drove, just drove, just power drive the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. For as uh, people don't give the credit to you guys the way you deserve a lot of times. So I think with my with the way I was in, inputted into this thing, I always loved hip hop. That wall was there before I ever even started uh, doing podcasting, but I was always into hip hop. You can tell that because yeah. I always was dealing with these niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when it finally popped off, right, it was like, I love music. My wife was telling me the other day how, how I drive the car, my truck, when I drive with the music, or my old school. When he used to drive, okay, when I first met him, right, it was a, it was a green... Um, Ford one, Ford F one fifty. Yeah, right? I love them. But when I tell you, every <laughs> single car that he was in, yeah. I the Lincoln. I'd want to yeah. put earplugs in my ears. Put it in that way, it would be so loud. Yeah. you can't talk. Yeah. You can't. Uh, the the windshield's beaten, and yes, I'm like, yes. yeah. In my mind, I'm like, yeah. it's just a Texas thing because when I came here first, and I went to school, it's like everybody who would drive through the city. That's how it be. Yeah. Sometimes it be in a raggedy beating car. Beating down your block. Beating down. You think the car gonna fall <laughs> the apart. Rules in the truck. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. is, this a, is this a cultural thing? Is, this a, is it a Texas thing? I don't know. I've never seen it nowhere else. It's, it's, it's a down south thing for yeah, sure. Yeah, I okay. love hip hop, man. Because so. I had never seen it. Because I used to always go to Florida. And Florida don't, definitely don't do that. They got their ways of doing it. They got them big they rims the on their car. down there yeah. in Yeah, but... Where I was, I didn't hear all of that and see all of that. Well, I think the music thing is just, that's just to each individual. When you love music, you know, I used to go to the club when I was young. So, you know, uh, and I had, when we first started, we had Sherwood. How long y'all been together? 20 years. 20. Sherwood Vegas and uh, uh, six by nines, you know, this is a whole different level. You know, six by nines, you might put about, we could put 10 or 12 in there, six in that thing in the back window. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and that before I was just beating down the block. Then I went and got them sure with Vegas. Shout out to my cousin. And uh, now he can't Hickey, do it no Hickey. more. Yeah, I got 12s in, the, in no, each car. No, I'm not saying you can't do it. The, I got them. Put it I just way, when we driving now and he hear people doing it, he's like, dang, why why they got to do that? I'm like, you used to do no, it when you was younger? No, no, no. <laughs> the only time I really get frustrated when they do it when we having a set in here, I hear it out there. But just hearing we it We drive the, down the highway and you said the same thing. No, I like I like that music. Why man. you doing that, man? I like that no, music. It's, it's what you call getting older. I like that music, bro. No cap. Like, if it's right, I like it. Who's, somebody came out there and had it in the car. I went out there just to sit and feel it one time. It might have been throwed an essay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in the Bentley. You know I'm what I'm saying? Throw an essay, yeah. yeah. I might just jump in that thing and just sit in the back seat and let yeah. that thing rough through my chest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, man, let's get back to you, man. Uh, so, when you think about just uh, the Dallas area and the Fort Worth area, man, is there a quietness? In, when it comes to the hip hop game now, or right is now? it, or is that thing bumping? Because I don't be at the clubs like, but no, nah, it's quiet. But uh, so it's musically quiet, if in a sense, you dig what I'm saying from what it, what we used to. But it's a lot of talking going on. It's a lot of ruckus. But ain't no, ain't, but the music. Well, you got big extra plug. Yeah, uh, you. Uh, the, that's one person. Yellow Beezy just had a a, a a a a dang project to come out. Uh, yeah, uh, bad ass yeah. yellow boy, and uh, yeah, he he had some he had a a Pimp C song on that thing. It's quiet though. He just 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 keep he's it saying real. Dallas ain't like what it used to be. Well, that's yeah, what he's well, saying. You got to remember, like in 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 any second, you will have ten artists, man, that's hot and popping in whatever area they in. Well, that ain't who, going who got on right it now? now. Memphis. 
You can give it to Memphis. You can Alabama. No, I think it's in Memphis. Alabama had they run. It's in Memphis right now, for sure. It's in Memphis. Name yeah. the ten artists in Memphis. Damn, popular. ten. That's a lot. It's Jamaica. Okay. I don't know ten artists. <laughs> Name me five. No, in order because the reason why I said ten because you said you know Dallas used to have the ten artists, but that's the reason why I'm, I'm saying Memphis. I know Memphis do they, is do smaller. Like big artists, big ones. No, because you said Memphis have it. Yeah. Why does Memphis have it? Who is the artist? Why you say hey, Memphis Marilla have girl it? just went in. Yeah, she, she, really. she busted wide open. They got it. Uh, let me they, see. They it's got, a lot out there. They it, Name them. You got <laughs> you got Big Scar out there. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, even, it's more even it's after more, that. I know. Yeah. Because I'm wondering, because when you say this city have it, I want to know why and who, you know? I think if you start looking through the internet. Is that where Gucci from? Memphis? No, good, but he be, he got artists from over there. Because he just mm-hmm. signed somebody the other day. Yeah, I, I saw that. it I seen from that. his hometown. That's in there. Yeah, Alabama. He it was from, from Alabama. his Alabama. hometown yeah. because he went back to the original 1017 where his, I think his grandma was yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And he did a video from there showing that, you know, that's the original 1017. That's the wow. reason why. I thought that was Excuse dope. And I, he gave him the chain, everything right there on the property. So he caught, he, he label mates with uh, Hot Boy Wiz now. Yeah. Wow, that's hard. That's hard. How about what's hard? He he ain't slowed down. He he gonna make some. He kind of had a little hiccup here. I don't know what went on, but I got to get him back on the show. But the the nigga don't slow down. He raps. That nigga Waco, rap, right? Yeah, he rap yeah, food. Yeah, he rap hard. Yeah, that's why I like I, I like I like him a lot. Like like his the way he carries himself, the way he come across as a he a genuine dude. He, what you see is what you get. Yeah, he ain't he ain't no ain't no. He a real stump down dude when it come down to, uh, you know, he ain't for the bag down from nothing. And uh, but he also, if you talk to him and you a real one, he gonna respect it. And that's what I like about him. And and we we forget that we were young. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't. It's like nah, man. I remember when I was that age, you probably couldn't even talk to me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I know you could. I was hustling too hard a lot of time. I couldn't listen to you, nigga. You ain't even know what I'm doing. I'm. Uh, let's talk about uh, I, I don't really want It's been a few people To come on here And talk about you But we don't just You know You <laughs> you. There's a lot of niggas That really you know uh, I don't know How come you all Seem to be ruffling Niggas feathers At all times Can I? Can you tell me that But you don't see, I don't see you In the media doing it Yeah man. It's, you, you know when it's real E that's what go on You know what I'm saying They, they Like I told you uh, I told somebody That spoke previously Uh they not supposed to like somebody like me. You feel me? When it's the real deal. And, and now I say, I know the truth about all these guys, man. They just they just lucky that I'm not no real internet type of dude. So, I, you know what I'm saying? But I know these guys real business. You know what I'm saying? I know they not really, none of that shit they be talking about on the internet. They not, they not on none of that. And that's cool. Okay. You know, tell me tell me this, man, because I hadn't talked to you since. Uh, I know Walk Like Jordan passed away, man. R.I.P. Rest to, in to, peace, yeah, Walk Like Jordan. Yeah, Walk man. Like Jordan was one that was always pushing the influence in the music over there with uh, Kenny. Kenny uh, with uh, 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 Kenny B was, was, was real close to him when, that, when he passed away. Kind of just give me the information on how, you know, uh, 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 is Kenny B. Have you seen Kenny B? No, I ain't seen But you've seen the move, right? When far he got as baptized. far as yeah, the movie yeah. yeah. Sorry. Is he? I mean, is he? In, is is he gonna change his life around or something? <laughs> huh? I ain't seen him or talk to him, man. You gotta, you you know how to get in contact with. Yeah, him. that's my boy. That's my know. boy right there. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, what, what, I know. I was happy when I saw yeah, that online. Yeah, that yeah, he that's said good. He gave any, his life to Christ. Anytime somebody trying to do better, you know, you know, niggas gonna laugh. You niggas is funny to me. You know. Niggas is not going to really let a nigga make it when he's trying to do the right thing. Niggas be laughing at me, nigga, because I love God. You niggas is horrible. Why you, you know saying that? niggas, man? Because I'm, I'm talking to I the airwaves. I love Kenny I'm B, talking man. about the airwaves. Like, when you try to do right, even though you know, you know, people don't really, they they, they rather, it's an evil world we live in sometimes. I just put it like oh, that. Oh, the world is wicked, man. But this but you have place. to, we have to, you know, we got to make sure that the good outweigh the bad that we that we be a light in darkness because there's a lot of times I'm telling you I was happy to see him get baptized no matter if he go back and have some issues later on or whatever what you mean it don't matter it do matter don't it if you do it you're not supposed to no 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 no. ain't nobody perfect nobody's perfect we all all fall and we come back up if a person just like me you might see me do something wrong uh 
that don't mean I'm maxed out the game with God. I mean, I just fell for a second. I'm going to get back up. That's what a just man falls sometime, but he gets so, back up. So, so let me, let me put it this way. Quick. Hold on. Before you say that, let me look at this real quick. Um, even like the people who are walking around looking so perfect or even doing everything they're supposed messed to be up. doing. Not even just messed up. Um, you sin even when you think about certain things. And mm -hmm. a lot of these people are thinking about certain things, you know, because they're human being. And lust, especially a man who's so holy Don't and say a man. Ratchet. No, no, I'm just saying. Hell, I'm just saying anybody. a man who is holy and righteous or whatever, and a woman passing a short skirt, his head might turn, no matter how holy he is. He might say, no, Or if a man walk by in them gray joggers. Or that. <laughs> And you might say, you know, Lord, forgive me, you know, whatever. But there's nobody perfect in this world at all. Yeah, you're right about so it. So if you, if you, so if I, if say I go get baptized, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Then I get on the internet and say, man, if, man, my God, I go be like, oh, Supreme, he just made a mistake. He Correct. Made. That's what God is. He don't How many of them do I get? You. As many 70 as you want. Times 70 times Oh, that's good stuff. You just went biblical on me. I like that. Yeah, that's really what it is. Yeah, 70 times 7. So you, it can be whenever, but at the end of the day, you're trying, bro. I mean, I always ask people, what's the difference between a struggling hypocrite and a, and a, and a, 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 and a person who is a Christian that's trying to keep on failing? What's the difference? How can you tell? I mean, it, you, know, it, you can't. But at the same time, when you, the that, same. when you do that, when you do that, when you give your life to Christ, whatever, and you do something like that, the Spirit's supposed to convict you as much as we get in the Spirit. I mean, we get in our flesh and da da da, da But when you sit back down and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. You, what did I a, just do? If I make do? a conscious effort to go lay down in this water to baptize my body and my spirit and my soul, then I'm supposed to understand that if somebody make me feel some type of way, I ain't got to get on the Internet and... You know what I'm saying? Related. But it takes, now I'm it takes time, time and practice. It, it takes time. It takes time and practice. And practice. Because yeah. at first, if, you do, if you're this way all the time, and that's what you normally do, and as long as you made that effort, the reason why I love a mm. person that's getting up and, and giving their life to Christ, because a lot of times it always takes something detrimental. And we know what happened, you know, why he did that. But at the same time, that's how life is. It takes something detrimental. Somebody losing somebody, somebody facing a life threatening situation, whatever. And they say, you know what? I'm going to give my life to Christ. I can't do this no more. But if you were always this way in the beginning and you give your life at a time, the devil going to come at you a hundredfold. Yeah, now, I see a lot of devils on here, uh, Miss Jamaica. Uh, wait a minute, hey, I'm just, hey, 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 hey. Man, you mean we yeah. see a lot of devils on here? A lot of devils come sit up here, man, and put the Explain, headphones I, on and talk. Wait a minute, what devil? It's a few devils no, be up here. You know, it's a few people that maybe you don't, you and them might not see eye to eye. Is that what you that, think it is? Yeah, but that don't make them a devil. You don't think so? Who, okay, you you devilish talk, like who? Who okay. is the devil? Let me tell you this right now: the devil has used every single person in this world. Not one person is exempted at one time or the other. That's right. So the devil has you used to even you. Wife as it, <laughs> so that's everybody. You understand what I mean? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> but you've dealt with a lot of uh, situations where some might have seen this thing that you was the devil. Tell me when. Well, you know, there's been cases, man. Uh, I, I, there was things. Well, I need. Was I need to. Come on, we we cool. Specifically, well, I mean, tell me you when. Know, just the OG Percy incident. Man, stop uh, it, man. There was different <laughs> incidents. There's been different incidents where people. Might I was have, the devil. Uh, well, they might have thought you took on a devilish perception of it. The same thing with a Terry Blue or Sean Cotton. They may feel that way because there's been issues. How you gonna throw the devil on the Lord, no, man? Oh, oh you What's the Lord, wrong with you, man. <laughs> See, so it's all about perception and how you feel about the situation. And each person going to feel like the other person's right or wrong. And that's where you start to depict. See, right or wrong don't got nothing to do with the Lord. You feel me? This but what do you, what, what, there's no judgment going you, on. I'm just you, telling you. But where, how do you feel like you, I know just you can know take the Lord, that stance? Because you know the Lord. And Miss Jamaica Lord, know the Lord. But at the end of the day. So y'all know who y'all dealing with. But each person can right, take Ms. on. Jamaica? No, that's not okay. right. Don't you agree with that? <laughs> because anybody can take on a different characteristic at any time, man. You know, they, people are doing different things. Just like I said, everybody's, a work, everybody's a work in progress. And right? me, I'm definitely. So I'm a lot of times people do things that they realize they shouldn't have done. And then you get 
pull when back in. When they realize in. it, Miss Jamaica, when they saying it or after? Usually after. Just Not like the somebody y'all have on here. Just like they somebody, about this. if somebody come to you, okay, let's go back to the OG Percy situation because that's what y'all brought up, right? Yeah. When y'all, OG when y'all Percy, was cutting up in here, y'all brought night. it up. You, so look at this, look at this. When that happened, right? You brought and, him over, girl. and I brought can him I, over. Can I? Can I? Can <laughs> I? I'm sorry, but. <laughs> And you, y'all were getting into it and you were trying to, you know, um, calm the situation down and say, let's go outside, whatever. But he didn't want to do that, right? You started, y'all started arguing and whatever. But you could have been like, you know what? God bless you. Let me go. That's what I did. Now you did. It took you a time before you got you to that. Don't play me. It took you a minute because y'all, y'all were arguing a little bit but first. Had, but then the Lord came <laughs> and I picked my phone up and then I said, but I'm But what gone. I'm saying, but what I'm saying the devil used you for a second. It was a quick till second. Till you, till you realize. <laughs> but but I'm using yeah. this example to show that in reality, in life, everybody goes through this. Even if it's for a quick second, sometimes it might take a month. It might take a day for people to realize that, you know what? <laughs> I was wrong. So when they come up here and do these interviews and say the most blasphemous stuff that you could ever think of, do you even think they thought about that before they said or they freestyling? But you got to think about it. It's not everybody has found a Lord yet. They ain't fin- okay. I give you that. Let me so ask you this. some let me- people that you might see, they're going through certain things. There are some people who don't even believe in God because of the situations that they've been through in life. I've met people, so many people who are like that, and you can't force it upon them because they have to go through what they have to go through. Yeah, some people have lost their mom, their dad, their sister, their daughter, whatever, and be like, or friend, do, or friend. And during so that, so you time, pick on people. No, hold on. And during on people. And during that time of bereavement, or before they got to that, Ooh. before they got to that time. They were begging, Lord, save this person's life, save this person's life. And life wasn't saved. <laughs> so what they start doing, they start, they start to blame, out. they start to blame God. And because they blame God, they say, well, I don't believe in him. I don't believe in him. I give up on this. I don't believe in this person. That's what normally happened to a lot of people. Well, I can't say, I, I can say you tried because you prayed on, what made you pray online? Well, you, you, know what? <laughs> you prayed before, three, it was four of y'all, I seen it on YouTube, and you started to pray for everybody on the panel. I mean, did you do that from the heart? Was for that sure. a show for yeah, YouTube? Yeah, I, I don't play like that. Okay, so what made you pray for those guys that day? I felt like one of them needed it specifically, so that's why I, I did it. It, it. Yeah. And so you you just say let us buy ahead. I remember that. I and was did, proud did, of you. Did, I say you know, just was they quiet on there. It was quiet. All right. The and spirit. that's good. I didn't see it, but oh, I applaud I you. It. But I applaud you for that. There was some I, devils on there too. Some but, devils on there, Miss Jamaica. But that's fine. You did what you were supposed to do. A lot of times, God speak to us in so many different ways. A lot of times, we don't we don't always listen. Sometimes, you know, we say we we make excuses. You know what I mean. We're like, you see somebody in need and you're like, well, I got to go here. I got to do this. I don't have time to stop to help that person. But, you know, first mind is saying I need to stop to see what's wrong. But your other mind is telling you or, you know, like me, watch those cartoons, you said angel and the devil. on the, Yeah, that's what it is in your head. One is telling you, don't stop. You, you're on a time limit. But well, if you person, got two devils on you. You don't know that everybody got a everybody got a, no everybody got an angel in there let and me, everybody. Let, let me get back to a, a, a couple of things before I get him off this panel. But <laughs> go yeah yo, how's his spirits being locked up right now? He been gone now for how long? Uh, like two years. Two years. He'll be home next year. He'll be home next year. Yeah, he you guys going like work? Right y'all going to work together? Or no, it's a lot of beautiful things going on are, right now. Are, you see the free yeah yo hoodie. Are you guys going to work together? We going to do what the Lord tell us to do. Okay. Um, who in Fort Worth? But I wouldn't be wearing this. You dig what I'm saying? If it wasn't no love, if it wasn't no. Oh, definitely love. Y'all started thing. together. You yeah. can't never get away from that. Um, but uh, are you gonna work with Kenny B anymore, or, or do you see him? You know, getting back in the. All, all the Lord's children will return back to the to where they came from. Uh, everybody. Wow. K Breeze as well. K Breezy ain't never went nowhere. So you still manage K Breezy? I love K Breezy. Do you still manage her? She not doing music right now. Oh, okay. But she, whenever she crank back up, she, it, yeah. Okay. What about Throw This Are you guys still working together? That's my guy. It's how I love eat with everybody. Everybody is going to, you're going to see everything with everybody. Okay. Um, so who who else do we need to look out for coming out of the Fort Worth area right now? The the boy you brought on here last time, has he got any music out yet? Yeah, man. Yeah. We, we should, yeah. <laughs> Where is the is, is projects videos or, or no? He working on that right now. You know he's a guy out of jail. 
He just got out of jail. When I brought him here, he had just got out of jail. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah. He probably had about total about five million views on the internet right now, though. That's hard. That's mm-hmm. hard, man. Um what a, did I don't want to leave nothing out. So what's the next move? What what what, what, what can we look from from for you, from you next? Or is uh, man, uh, before I go, I you have... You got a movie, don't you? Yeah, but this is what I'm going to tell you is bigger than that. So myself and uh, three other guys from Fort Worth, we have a, a program, um, a youth enhancement program. Okay. It's going to be like an academy that we have presented to the city of Fort Worth um, and the school districts, and they jumping on it. So basically, we'll be implementing, like, you know, etiquette. Uh, you know, because I've been in situations with kids at labels and just different situations and watch them do and say the most outlandish shit that we never even discussed. So now, um, it's a few of us back in forward. So we just finna put together, man, uh, uh, it's already together. Um, just to help these kids, man, from like nine to like 18. That's all. Um, and we're going to teach them everything. We'll bring y'all in to discuss running a podcast. Okay. That's we'll all. pay y'all to do that. You yeah, feel me? I, probably, I don't know. I, yeah. You know, but I'm just saying like, that's what we, you know, got the nonprofit set up. Team No South. Um, it's a lot of things going on, man. It's a lot of beautiful right. things. Um, so <clears throat> so thank you for the plug with DOC uh, for reaching for sure. out for him. You know, I like to keep it all the way live over here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care nothing about none of that other stuff. Like, yeah. I don't care nothing about Kudo. He reached out. He he had followed us already, but just for you to even reach out to him and you guys, you already did uh, interviews with him for your documentary. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard you say Trap Boy Freddy was on there. I heard you yeah. say, uh, who else you say was on there? Uh, we got George Lopez George on there. Lopez. Um, LeJu made the beat. That's Megan Thee Stallion producer. Yeah. He on Don there. Don Chief. Uh, Don Chief on there. My guy. Shout out Chief. Uh, Lil Will. Lil Will. Uh, um, all them boys. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of It's a mode too. I can't remember. But that's hard, man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you for what you're doing for the culture. Keep on pushing. Sure. Uh, may, uh, like I say, uh, next time, uh, if you had to go to go back, would you sign that deal with QC? If you had to go back, would you and go, go yeah, you're sitting in that office? So I'm gonna say this: uh, everything come back around again. Okay. Dig what I'm saying? Okay. So everything comes back around again. Okay. You know, uh, I heard a lot. You gonna be proud of me in the. In the you probably proud of me now, but I'm you very be, proud of you. You gonna be really proud in a in a few months. Well, know? I just heard a lot of people say you should sign that deal. Well, a lot of people say a lot of things. <laughs> I just told you what it was, though. <laughs> yeah, how's Deb? You and Deb still talk? That's me, Ma. Okay. Yeah. Miss Deb. I don't I don't I never met her, so but yeah. I know y'all always I call her Mima, yeah. Okay. That's family. That's good, man. Well, hey man, shout out to everybody that's uh uh definitely uh on that on that roster. You just got back from Atlanta. I know you you working, so uh I can't wait to see whatever uh comes <laughs> up next. Funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say man, make sure y'all guys tap into Boss Talk one oh one, man, where uh, you know, subscribe, like, you know, you know, don't forgive us for Supreme. That, that that's not <laughs> that's not our fault. But hey, man, check it, man. <laughs> so how can people get old to you if they're trying to reach out? Uh, Bob McGriff on on Instagram and uh, Facebook, and yeah, that's it. Bob McGriff. Happy b- belated birthday, mm-hmm. thank uh, you, man. Man, I, I just say, it. man, uh, keep on doing your thing, okay. and keep us posted on go. Yeah, yo, and give me his address because I'm gonna write the nigga and put some money on his book because that's what real niggas do. Got you. you know what I'm saying for real. I got you. All right, check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk One On One where the bosses talk. And we out.